myself pavani i am working as assistant professor in csc aml department at mlr institute of technology today i would like to give us a lecture on early parser we already discussed this is one of the topic in par probabilistic parsing coming to the probabilistic parsing we discussed in previous videos uh, go through that video and today i will cover what is the introduction about the early parser and which uh, the overview of the algorithm at least steps algorithm which steps you have to follow to do the early parser and example of the state and other types of process states and example of combining the process states we have to combine all these types of process states by using the single sentence let's see one by one so coming to introduction so before early parser so what is the meaning of a before early parser early parser is the top down parsing that means it is efficient for the uses of the top down parsing and uses the dynamic programming is a very very important point by uh, in early parser we are using the top down parsing we are we have to know already we know top down parsing that means we have to start with top down approach that means top to bottom right so before uh, parsing we have to know about the concept of cfg means context free grammar this tells only about the language but it it not tells the structure of the that means which type of rules we have to follow it will not explain right so for that we are using the parsing technique in parsing it this it, it shows the syntactic rules of the structure so that means how the parse tree generates in the by using the form of syntactic rules like this this is a sentence right suppose this is a root node the root node contains the chain node the chain node contains the some that means we have to follow some structured tree that means this is called as a parse tree but in an early parser we are following the top down approach that means top to bottom approach this is the overall meaning of the early parser that means it it is efficient for the top down parsing and uses the dynamic programming to construct the parse trees it works well with the cfg that means we have to know about the right? cfg we already discussed the parsing techniques there are two techniques top down parsing and bottom up parsing top in top down parsing top to bottom bottom up means we have to choose the first we have to insert the elements and one by one we can insert the elements right so coming to here what are the features of the early parser it can handle recursive grammar rules that means it can handle the syntactic grammar rules without getting any struck in an infinite loop it means there is without any uh, discrepancy it allows the recursive grammar rules it uses the dynamic programming that means at least multiple uh, multiple programming that means we have to avoid the redundant computations by using the storing intermediate results in a chart that means in the in a chart means parse tree we have to use the dynamic program to avoid the redundant computations so there is no problem to, to face this we have to use the dynamic programming the worst case of the time complexity for the early parser is order of n cube but it performs the much better than the polynomial cases that means polynomial time for many practical cases this is the major point in the early parser see the algorithm overview of the algorithm is the early parser maintains the chart with the n plus 1 entries that means n plus n entries that means 1 to n plus n entries where n is the number of words in the input sentence that means we have here uh, in parser i am entering n plus 1 entries here n is the number of words in a input sentence suppose the sentence contains suppose n words or seven words the n value is suppose 7 so each start empty stores of set of states representing the parsing progress so for this uh, chart each chart purpose what is the purpose to store the state set of states here the states consists of a grammar rule and a dot marker what is the purpose of here grammar rule? it represents the structure of the parsing let me which which the uh, which type of structure is to be parsed right next dot symbol defines the progress in the rule see here whenever the sentence contains start position and end position this is a dot point it states the third point start and end positions that means what is the purpose of this start and position mark the part of input sentence by using the which 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 one is starting to parse 
see the next one see the, the combine of a to x1 x2 and so on xm within that i am using a b with the dot symbol here what the dot symbol defines how much the rule has been matched how much the rule has been matched to the x1 into x2 to and so on xm how by using this dot symbol how much the uh, the, the b values are matched to the x1 x2 right here here i am taking i comma j right here i represent the starting position and j represent the current position suppose starting position some suppose zero i am in the current position suppose one which is the value of i comma j that means the cat right i am taking suppose the cat the cat is in some zero position here the next position is one like this see the process types of process states see we have three types of process states first one predicator what is the meaning of here predicator right here it expands the non terminals in the grammar see understand the point here what is the purpose of predicator by using the predicator we can expand the non terminal words right we already discussed in, in the regular expression that means we have non terminals right noun phrase right like this these are called as a non terminals so by using this predicator we can expand the non terminals if the now if the next expressive symbol is non terminal the predicate adds the new states for all possible expansions what is the meaning this uh, line is suppose if the next expressive symbol is non terminal suppose the next symbol is suppose noun phrase right the predicator automatically adds the new states of the all possible expansions automatically adds the new expansions possible expansions not all the uh, expansions it add the possible according to the surroundings it will add the expansions see the here i am taking some example some the contains the grammar rules suppose we have sentence contains noun phrase and verb phrase the noun phrase contains some determiner and noun right so what is the current state here the sentence contains noun phrase verb phrase suppose the first position in the form in the ij is some 0 and 0th position right the starting is zero and the current position also zero right the predicate will add the so noun phrase to the determiner and noun see the noun phrase contains determiner and noun so zero is position zero is position because np needs to expand it suppose when the structure contains noun phrase or for the np compass need to expand the noun phrase or some determiner whatever the sentence is there we have to expand the noun phrase which is the meaning of the predicator that means the main predicator what will do it expands the possible expansions to the non terminal see the next one what is the meaning of here scanner here we understand predicator right what is the purpose of predicator it expands the possible expansions to the non terminal symbols right hey what is the purpose of scanner it matches the words here see the words in previous expansions but here the by using the scanner we can match the words from the input sentence this is the main difference between the predicate and scanner so if the match is found it will add into the next value if the next expert symbol is terminal the scanner advances dot at the at what type at the right side of the word matches if the word can matches it will add to the dot symbol at the right side see the example here the noun phrase contains determiner noun right suppose the cat right so the noun is a determiner noun is a some cat right so the noun contains the noun phrase contains determiner some noun right so here zero is position is the first uh, starting position and one is the present current position j defines the current position and that means current state and this is a starting state starting state this is a scanner it means it can it can matches the word so what is the here next word the next word is the cat suppose snatches the dog suppose the next word input is suppose the dog so the scanner moves to the next word so what is the here the determiner noun dot it will increase the value to the two for the purpose we are using the dot symbol always moves to the right suppose this is a structure this is a noun phrase this is a left right always it is moves to the right next one 
completer here what is the purpose of completer when the role is fully matched then only it will satisfy the condition that means it will form the complete sentences see the completer this is the meaning itself is the completer when the sentence is fully matched then only it complete the sentence the complete updates the previous states that were expecting this role so it moves the dot to the right any state that refer reference to the completed role so always it moves the right side then uh, when uh, up to the finally the uh, the sentence is fully matched up to the process is repeated up to till now the final uh, sentence is matched see the here we have np determiner suppose in previous we have 0 to comma to right so j value is 2 right the complete updates sentence contains noun phrase verb phrase suppose it means that noun phrase is fully passed because the sentence is fully completed it is the meaning of that, that one this is a combined right, right? both noun phrase and verb phrase so noun phrase can now proceed this is the meaning of the process states completer scanner and predicator by using all these combined we can uh, solve the example problem see I am taking some sentences. The cat sleeps. This contains only three words, right? The cat is a determiner. Sorry, the is a determiner. Cat is a noun, and sleeps is a some verb, right? The sentence contains both noun phrase and verb phrase. See, see the step by step process. Here, I am taking the first grammar rules. This is the parsing syntactic rules. For the by using this only, we can we have to solve the sentence with the complete the sentence. So. What is the rule here? Sentence contains noun phrase and verb phrase. Here noun phrase contains determine noun and verb contains the verb phrase contains the verb. And here what is the suppose this is structure. The structure contains noun phrase, verb phrase. Noun phrase contains the here noun phrase contains the determiner and noun. Determine is what is the determiner here? The noun is the cats, right? The verb phrase contains the verb. What is the verb here? Sleeps, right? This is the verb. So, this is the final parse free structure. That means the context free grammar only defines the only language of the particular sentence. But we have to define the structure of the sentence. For that purpose, I am using the parsing technique. So, parsing defines the syntactic rules. See, by using these rules, we, rules, we can construct the, we can apply the process states. See the next one. Here, processing parse process that means we have to apply the scanner and predictor and completer. See the sentence step by step one. See the sentence is the cat sleeps, right? First, each card contains the chart contains that means chart means array contains the suppose i value some starting position, it corresponds to the input position i, right? Suppose the chart 0 starts with the sentence, noun phrase, verb phrase. Suppose I value, J value by default 0, right? This is the predicate, right? So, I want to move to the next stage. That means right to the uh, structure. See, noun phrase contains determiner, noun. So, 0, 0. I find out, find out the determiner. So, determiner is predicated, right? Here, I determiner is predicated, right? Next, see the determiner is the is. 0, 0. I want to add the word the into the sentence, right? So, word. So, this is a scanner step, right? What is the purpose of scanner? We want to match the word. It means I need to match the word the to the sentence. Here, match the the word, right? See, up to now clear, right? See, next one, the chart one contains the is there. So, it is matched. Next, go to the, it goes to the next right position. So, it will increment to the 1, right? The determined is the is matched. That means the, it completes the, the, the is completed. And next one, see, the noun phrase contains determiner and the 0 and noun. That means we have to complete the noun phrase. That means we have to match the word noun. The word, the match the word noun is cats, right? We have to match the word cat. By using a scanner. See the next one. Suppose if the cat is matched, right? The sentence contains the cat. Next one, what is cat, right? So, what is the uh, purpose of predicator? It adds the expression for the next, right? So, the cat is fine ordered. The scanner will match the cat, right? So, here the cat is matched. 
that means color match is the cat see the next one the chart two contains cat is matched so it will increment to the next position right the cat contains one comma two what is the purpose here the cat is completed right now up to now i am there here right so what is remaining pending the cat is sleeps right the cat is sleeps so cat is completed see the next one it will increment so here the noun phrase determiner and 0 comma 2 so determine also completed noun noun also completed now i want to uh, find out the word phrase right the sentence contains noun phrase and word phrase so 0 comma 2 it will increment to the 2 comma 2 that means it predicates the both noun phrase and word phrase so these are the 2 comma 2 noun phrase and verb phrase so it predicates the verb so what is the verb here sleeps right see the next one we have to match the sleeps so sleeps matched right so it will increment to the 2 comma 3 that means sleeps matched so verb incremented completed and the noun phrase after 0 comma 3 also completed so the sentence there is no pending words right the cat sleeps so the process states are all completed that means predicator and scanner that means predicator is it uh, it uh, it will take the next expression and scanner snatcher will that means scanner will snatch the matches word and computer will complete the entire sentence process right so sentence is passed completely this is the processor of the process states using the to find out the sentence completely passed or not using the syntactic rules this is the early parser basic idea about the early parser so in in this video we discussed in this lecture we discussed about the introduction to the early parser and which are algorithm overview of the algorithm and features of early parser and next example for the state and what are the different types of process states and by using all combined this process states we are, we are discuss the example thank you